Hello everyone, uh, this is HDD Recovery Services. Today's uh, recovery is going to be on a Barracuda made by Seagate. This drive came out from an uh, iOmega enclosure. iOmega doesn't make hard drives, they build enclosures and they use uh, uh, companies like Seagate, Samsung, Hitachi, Western Digital, uh, Toshiba inside of their units and sell them their drives as their own product. So uh, we pulled the drive out, we tested it on our machine. Machine, um, Since this is an older type of Seagate, the only messages that we're getting are the head mask messages. These are highly related to head assembly. So that's what we're going to be replacing today. On this drive, it's fairly straightforward process uh, because the utility set that we will be using later on for imaging uh, will allow us to create a loader for this drive which will be helping us with the imaging process. Now without having access to those utilities this procedure can be very very difficult to do so I strongly recommend not to get into it if you do not have access to uh, tools such as PC3000 for example. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up our uh, patient's drive just to make sure that there is no extensive bladder damage prior to us jumping in and opening up the donor drive that we ordered. Now, this is an older drive so it was hard to find it. We had to get it through our sources. Now that we have the parts we can proceed with the process. Okay, so it doesn't look like there is any um, damage to the drive. The filter looks clean. So uh, what are we dealing with here is a hard drive that will that is parking its heads on on the on the platter. Okay, as you can see, there is no external parking ramp. So as far as the procedure goes, there is um, it's a little bit more difficult uh, to uh, extra extract heads out of the drive like this. So for that, we're going to use one of our specialized head extraction tools. At first we need to clear and make way for the parts to, to be ready to come out. Okay, so on these drives there's not too many obstacles that we have to remove. This bolt needs to come out as well. And set aside. The architecture of uh, 7200.9 is very similar to 7800.10 and that is what the uh, um, head replacement tool is designed for.
All right, and like so, the head assembly comes out. And now we're ready to do the same, but with our donor drive. So we're just gonna close it up for now. A very important step of the process uh, when performing a head swap is to uh, remove the head set from, from the patient's drive and actually verify underneath the microscope that there are no scuffs on uh, the surfaces of the heads because that happens quite often when uh, uh, heads do fail that they actually begin to interfere with the platter surface. So in our case, we already did that with the head assembly out of our patient's drive just now and uh, all the heads still appear to be nice and clean. So this is our donor drive head assembly that will be used for restoration of our patient's drive. Which we got right here. Alright, so we're almost done with the swap. That was nice and smooth. And last touches. All right, so now we just gotta bolt everything back together and uh, build a loader for uh, this hard drive. So we just finished the procedure. We built up a loader for this drive and currently what you see on the screen is the uh, performance of an imaging task uh, that we're doing on this uh, case. So imaging process is simply copying sectors from the drive that we repaired onto the drive that we can rely on um, sector by sector. Okay, so once uh, this number here reaches um, 390 million, uh, we will have a complete mirror of the customer's drive uh, that will remain the structure, the content of the whole hard drive and the data set uh, that was originally on a failed unit. So if you guys have a problem with the accessibility of your drive, if the drive is not getting recognized, if the drive is making sounds that are not supposed to be making and you cannot reach the information uh, that was on there and if you need that information back, 
feel free to contact us. You can do that by visiting our website, uh, which is hddrecovery.ca. And uh, just go over here and click on the Contact Us tab. Fill out this estimate request form, and one of our representatives will get in touch with you to provide you with information regarding shipping, regarding pricing, and answer any questions you may have. Thank you very much for watching. Hit like if you like this video, and subscribe to our channel.